Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 386. If you're writing a book or thinking about it or trying to finish a book you've started or trying to let more people know about your awesome book, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc. I-N-K, like that stuff you write with. Each day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they can turn a quote-unquote non-author into a published author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. I've given my memoirs far more thought than any of my marriages. You can't divorce a book. Gloria Swanson. (laughs) Like that was one of my favorites about memoirs. (laughs) Once again, good morning. Happy Friday. Happy FAQs Friday. Every Friday, I answer your frequently asked questions, whatever book related questions are on your mind writing fundamentals, productivity, mindset, marketing, anything you got. You ask it, I do my best to answer it here every Friday. So here's today's question kind of a commentary slash question. My life is pretty messy, and that's an understatement. So, of course, I can think, so what did she say? So, of course, I think in many ways it would make for an awesome memoir. But how would I even do that without, at the very least, stepping on a lot of people's toes or, at worst, getting sued by my own family? That is a great question. And that is one that I get from so many memoir authors. And, you know, let's face it, very few people that I've ever met anyway are blessed with neat and tidy lives. If your life is messy, And full of lessons, they usually go hand in hand. If your life is messy, it probably is full of lessons. And hey, maybe even some entertainment value that memoir fans would love. And remember, I know I've mentioned this before, biographies and memoirs, there's a huge audience for them, by the way. And a lot of people are like, but I'm not a celebrity. I didn't climb Mount Everest. Well, kind of everybody is now. And I didn't do this and I didn't do that. It's just like, but you'd be surprised at biographies and memoirs. There is an audience of people that just love reading about other people's lives. They don't care if they've heard of you. They just want to read about your life. So anyway, if your life is messy and full of lessons and entertainment value, you, yeah, it's true. You know, this, this question is valid. You might actually have legitimate legal concerns based on some of the things you plan on revealing in your life story, because messiness generally involves other people. So if this is you, you might consider writing your memoir as a novel, like several of my clients have done. That way you can just be free, you know, create some characters, switch them some details, get creative. Then you can totally feel free to tell your story, get it all out without just saying, okay, I shouldn't tell that. I shouldn't tell that. I don't want to mention that person. Just change enough details. You make sure, you know, say this is a work of fiction based on real life events or true life events or, you know, there's lawyers that can help you with that wording. But, you know, I highly recommend this because especially if you have all these lessons and again entertainment value for us to read and learn from and and you know enjoy in your life story I would rather hear the whole thing so turn it into a fiction novel so you can change enough details so that you don't have to hold back in your creativity and especially in the potential transformation you can have on us so I hope that answers your question and please feel free to submit your FAQs Friday questions through my website, christine-inc, I-N-K.com. That is the easiest way to do it. Easy little contact form there, christine-inc.com. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And I look forward to seeing your FAQs, your frequently asked questions for a future FAQs Friday episode. Again, christine-inc.com. Until tomorrow. Happy writing.